guys, time for a quick review of the Stock and Barrel Natural Oak Vertical Wallet, their best-selling wallet. Um, this is Joe with Seattle Leather Research. Um, I am very happy with this wallet. Spoiler alert: uh, I think it's I think it's a great wallet. It holds a lot. When it got to me, it was extremely soft. It still is, obviously, very very soft, supple leather, um, and um, at a price point of 50, 60 bucks, it's a great value. It's a little just wet spot here. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is just talk a little bit about um, my experiences one month in, and then I'm gonna clean this bad boy up and uh, get some Neat's Foot oil on it, kind of darken it a little bit more. Um, so when I first got this wallet, it was actually closer to this color. Please ignore the crappiness of uh, this little travel wallet, uh, just a very early um, do-it-yourself uh, craft here. Um, but basically it was, it was this color. It's the natural, undyed, untreated um, vegetable tan uh, leather. Um, and now you can see after just a month, and I did suntan this in the, in the bright Kansas sun this past week, um, so it has been sitting out um, for a little while, but it's, it's absolutely darkened, which is cool and kind of gotten a, a pinkish brown, which I'm not the big, I love that it's done that. I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I'll probably, uh, that's why I'm gonna apply the, uh, the Meats Foot Oil to it, uh, just to kind of accelerate it at this point. Um, the wallet is made from very thin leather. Uh, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert here on um, thickness by any means or weight, but I'm, I'm guessing three, maybe four ounce leather for the exterior and thinner still for the um, for the interior pockets. Um, the edges are not, do not seem to be naturally kind of burnished, which I don't think you can do to us at a certain kind of thinness of the leather, I think. So um, they've got sort of a, a plasticky kind of topping on here that just sort of wraps the edges um, super nicely. Um, seems to make it kind of stronger, definitely a lot tougher and probably waterproof. Um, I'd say that's fine. Um, you know, obviously I love sort of just burnished, even just water burnished edges, I think look amazing. But um, obviously, um, you know, I've, I've tried to burnish hand burnished leather that is, um, you know, three ounces in thickness and it pretty much just wrecks it. Um, though I am no expert. So it's probably why they have this um, thicker sort of artificial or some kind of coating on the edge of this. Um, I did experience a little bit of tearing in the leather. So this, I don't know if it came like this or if it happened really shortly after I got the um, leather. A um, little bit of a tear right here. It hasn't gotten any worse as far as I can tell, um, but I definitely want to keep an eye on it. It doesn't look like it's uh, torn all the way through, which is good. Um, that's something I'll keep an eye on. Um, and it, it holds everything I need it to hold. So it's got some cash inside here and you can fit probably three cards in each, um, each pocket here. So it's two pockets uh, here, two pockets on this side, and then kind of hidden pockets um, behind that. So um, simple, straightforward, beautiful vertical design. Um, I think it looks just really nice, simple and clean. So now let's go ahead and, and get this guy cleaned up. I'm gonna empty it out. We'll take another look at it without the stuff inside of it and we'll get the oil applied. All right, here is the wallet with everything kind of emptied out. Um, one cool thing that I love, and this is probably the reason why I will only ever get vegetable tanned wallets or, or really any kind of small goods that have pockets like this. Um, I don't think I'll ever go with chrome tan for um, for anything of this size or, or purpose. I just, I love the way that these age quite a bit more. Um, because the leather is thin, you can see just having stuff in there actually raises the pockets. See, it's a little bit shadowy here. You can probably see it even better. It almost starts to look like the pockets have been pre-wet formed, you know, to, to fit certain things, obviously cards. Um, but that's not the case. It's just um, after a month of wear, these things, you know, still very snug, um, but definitely raised up, which is cool. Um, right, so again, very clean, very simple um, design on this undyed um, vegetable tan um, leather. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up here. 
Cool. Um, I just used a little bit of this Chamberlain's Leather Milk Cleanser, formula number two. Uh, pretty good value from Amazon, and it uh, actually does go quite a long way. Uh, there are a couple minor stains and sort of scuffs on the leather. Um, I think it's just the fact that it's a, such a lighter color that it's going to have certain things rub off on it. So, uh, and you can definitely see that that light brown is, uh, you know, it's, it's now wet. It's got some cleaner on it, so it's going to be amplified just a little bit. But um, overall, I mean, I can't speak highly enough about just the feel um, of this leather. Just super, super soft. Um, definitely, you know, something that um, you'll, you'll enjoy carrying. It's not going to be the the pro of using a leather um, that's this thin. Um, it should still be pretty strong, albeit, you know, I've got this little crack here, but um, still going to be strong because it's, you know, full grain veg tan leather, um, but it's not so thick that it's going to feel like you've got an entire double hamburger in your back pocket when you, when you carry it around. Um, this is definitely kind of a, a minimalist, um, thin design, which is cool. Um, so great. So it's, it's already just about dried. I'm going to go ahead and get the Neat's Foot oil, um, applied and see how that looks. Cool. I've got the leather cleaned and I'm going to go ahead and get some Neat's Foot oil to, um, both sides of the of the wallet. So I've just got a little bit here on a sponge applicator. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in. Hello, Daisy. Checking things out. Cool, good girl. Just fill in. You can see it's getting darker in some areas. Go ahead and get the other side real quick. Daisy thinks Neat's Foot Oil is a treat, apparently. I'm going to go ahead and let this um, just chill out for a little while, and uh, we'll see how that looks once it's dried. Check it out. I love this saddle tan color. It's absolutely gorgeous. So there are some scuffs. Um, I shoved it in my, um, my bag, my briefcase, and that briefcase has been oiled um, by the manufacturer, so it did contain some extra oils that just kind of got soaked in there, but those should um, dissipate and spread out over time, just a little bit of time. I love how this looks. Um, I was a fan of the natural oak, but I'm an even bigger fan of the saddle tan. So 
great wallet, great value, great price point for what you're getting. Um, I absolutely think you should go with this from uh, Stock and Barrel and have some fun with um, aging it yourself. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.